On August 19, 1999, my life changed forever. I was three and a half when my parents brought my baby sister home from the hospital. Just like any child getting a new sibling, I felt like the luckiest kid in the world. But what set me apart from most was that this was also the day I learned what Down syndrome was. My name is Kimberly Rutledge, and my little sister Cassie has Down syndrome. Of course, at three years old, the term Down syndrome meant nothing to me. My parents tried to explain that Cassie was different in the simplest form possible. But to me, Cassie was just like any other baby. Perfect. As I grew older, I came to a much better understanding of what Down syndrome was, but I still saw Cassie in the same light. I fed her, dressed her, and played with her, but I also attended all her speech therapy and physiotherapy classes and learned basic sign language. I applauded every milestone she achieved and loved her with all my heart. From my view, the first few years were the hardest. The unknown of it all was scary and really hard on my parents. When you're told about Down syndrome, you don't hear the success stories. No one tells you that the day she says your name will leave you breathless, or that one day she'll walk, nonetheless run, and you'll want to stand up and cheer. Instead, you're told that your child won't walk or talk, will have hearing problems, and will probably have heart defects, as well as other medical issues. I wish someone had been there to tell us that it was all a lie, that this was worst case scenario, and that Cassie would be the best thing that ever happened to us. No, it wasn't always easy. There were bad days and good days. My family, as well as many other people, worked very hard to get Cassie to where she is today. And I know if someone had told us what Cassie would be like today while she was a baby, we would have never believed it. Throughout her life, we have tried to give her all the opportunities that other kids got. She went on field trips, competed in cross-country and sports day, participated in science fairs, played on the volleyball team, went for sleepovers, took swimming lessons, skied, went to concerts, went on vacations, and all the other things that we as her sisters did. Of course, Cassie did everything to her own ability, and we tried our best to teach her that that was just fine. But that brings me to the hardest thing about having a sibling with Down syndrome, and that's seeing her not be accepted. I can do a lot of things for Cassie. I can make her look and act as typical as possible, but that doesn't mean she is. I can't make other kids want to hang out with her or invite her to parties. I can't make society accept her for who she is, and I can't make the world love her the way I do. I can't make people understand that Cassie is a person too. She has feelings and can comprehend more than they can imagine. It hurts her to hear kids talking about what they did on the weekend and know that they didn't want her to be included. And it kills me to see her cry. All I can do is surround her with people who love her and show her how she can contribute to the world. That's how I created the title for this project. Cassie isn't Down syndrome. She has Down syndrome. This happens to be a misconception that exists today. Really, Down syndrome isn't anything but another label that society has created because they think it defines us. But that's not even close to true. It's natural for humans to do this. It's the only way we can really make sense of something we don't understand. Thousands of labels are given out to people who are deemed as typical all the time, like preppy and emo and hockey boy. And those are supposed to tell others who we are and how we should be treated. With those labels, you carry all the stereotypes that go with them. You hear people complain about this all the time because they hate being labeled without any say or control over it. So why should kids with Down syndrome or any disability be any different? They're people first with their own quirks and personalities, and that's how the world should start seeing them. No, they're not perfect, but no one is. Cassie learns at a different pace, but so does everybody else. She can't do high jump, but I can name a lot of other kids who can't either. When she was in elementary school, she was reading at a higher level than kids her age who were considered typical. Somewhere, we as a society decided what was normal, and unfortunately, no one is. And what's that? It's Dora coming book. Well, you like Dora. Yeah, I do. And what, what's her monkey's name? Boots. Oh, Boots. I'm so special. Oh, you are special. I think you're almost perfect. Mm-hmm. So, did you did Santa leave, leave you a, a letter back? Yeah, probably. Well, you better check. Down syndrome can tell you that Cassie is a flat nose bridge and has 47 chromosomes. It can tell you that she has round eyes and a lower muscle tone. But it doesn't tell you that Cassie loves french fries, dressing up pretty, playing Wii, dancing, playing on her iPad, going to the beach, 
Starbucks, skiing, Justin Bieber, and One Direction. That she hates mushrooms, chewing gum, overly crowded malls, scary movies, and people going into her room without asking. She loves things being organized, she got that from me. And she loves sleeping, which she got from her other sister. Cassie doesn't really think she's that different. She sees people with different skin colors, different jobs, different body types, and knows they're all different. That she struggles with math, but so do tons of other kids. She understands that she has special needs, but sees that so does everyone else. That's one of the best things about Cassie. No matter who you are, where you come from, what you look like, she sees you as equal. It doesn't matter to her if you're the Queen of England or a homeless person. If you're nice to her, she'll be nice back. That's the way I wish society worked. Cassie accepts everyone and loves them for who they are. So why can't everyone do the same for Cassidy? Cassie has changed my life beyond belief. She's opened me up to a whole other world I would have never known without her. She taught me to cherish the little things and live in the moment. She showed me what it means to be happy and how normal really isn't that normal. She taught me to be the best I can be and smile always. To forgive and forget and accept everyone for who they are and what they can bring to the table. People often ask me why I'm so happy all the time, and honestly, I owe it to Cassie. She tells me every day that I'm perfect and that she loves me. I wish I could show her how much she means to me. I would do anything for Cassie, and I love her more than anything in the entire world. Cassie isn't Down Syndrome. She's a young, beautiful 13-year-old girl with dreams and goals just like everyone else. She has Down Syndrome, and that's just another one of the things that makes her great. It's not that unusual when everything is beautiful. It's just another So, what's your name? Cassidy Rutledge. Cassidy Rutledge. <laughs> and where do you go to school? Uh, QJS. QJS. <laughs> and what grade are you in? Grade 8. Grade 8. And what's your favorite class? My favorite class is um, drama. Drama. And what's your least favorite class? Math. <laughs> <laughs> you answered that really fast. Yeah. Um, what are your favorite foods? Uh, French fries. Ribs and chips. <laughs> <laughs> All health food. What's your least favorite food? My least favorite food is going to be uh, broccoli. Broccoli. <laughs> broccoli. And any other vegetable. <laughs> um, who's your favorite singer, Cassie? Um, One Direction. One Direction. And what's your favorite song? Yeah. You light up my world like nobody else The way that you flip your hair gets me overwhelmed But when you smile at the ground it ain't hard to tell Okay, that's enough of that uh -huh. <laughs> I'm uh, rocking it <laughs> You were rocking it What are your favorite things to do? I was told you No you didn't uh. <laughs> I play on the Wii, my iPad, um, what's it? That's all you do? Yeah. That's the only thing you like to do? I watch TV. <laughs> I watch movies. So you don't like swimming? It seems so exceptional that things just work out after all. It's just another